What's going on, guys? I'm Steve Marino, 112 Bravo Construction. Uh, we're a local roofing company in Pearland, Texas, and I get questions all the time about OSV or plywood. We're, today we're going to find out. We typically install OSB, one that's a little cheaper. Uh, it is a compressed composite, as you can see. It's a compressed composite, and it, they also coat it um, to make it water resistant. And we're going to check that here in a few minutes. We got a little water test that we're going to be doing. And then we also have plywood, which is still it's sheets, of, it's sheets of wood, but it's glued together. So uh, as you can see, and they're usually about a 1 8 inch thick uh, sheet of plywood that just it's glued together. So, and then also we're going to check out some tech shield. So this usually runs about $11, $15 a sheet. Your OSB is roughly right around, it depends on how much you buy, but it can be anywhere from $6 a sheet to $8 a sheet. And then your regular plywood uh, is $15 a sheet or pretty close to it. So um, we're gonna be doing a little test to find out which one is the best. All right, guys, so we've already got these lined up here, man. This is your OSB, your plywood, and your tech shield, right? So I got just a little bit, a cup of water, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna see what happens when we pour a little bit on there. That one kind of beat it up a little bit and started dripping off. Well, that one's kind of beating up too. And then that one's beating up. That's the tech shield. We'll see what's going on. We'll let it sit for a few minutes. Five minutes later. All right, so the OSB, you can see that it's it's starting to kind of, looks like it's starting to soak a little bit, but not too much. You can see the plywood here, and the plywood just kind of like, you can just see it completely soaked up. Now the tech shield, I'm a little impressed with that. You can still see the water bead right there. Uh, absolutely nothing soaked through. So right now um, we probably would have simulated a little bit of water getting underneath the shingles and uh, right now the plywood is not looking so good. Alright so now that we've kind of taken the, the uh, up close view of the OSB plywood and the tech shield what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a submersion test so in 24 hours we're going to check this and we're gonna video record the results. So I'm kind of curious to see, obviously your roof's never gonna get submerged in water unless you're a hurricane victim. However, um, we're gonna submerge it and we're gonna see which one starts coming apart first. So right now the water test shows that um, the plywood was third. It was soaking up the water. OSB came in second place right now for um, beating. It did soak up a little bit, it looks like. And then the tech shield was 100%, it didn't soak in at all. And that was just after five minutes. So we're gonna do the submersion test and we'll get back with you. 24 hours later. What's going on guys, it's Steve. We're back after about 24 hours. So what I did is I put it in the uh, water submersion test. We're gonna see what each one does. So, the plywood, they all soaked up a little bit of water. So the plywood is still, it hasn't delaminated or nothing. It's still pretty, pretty strong. Um, however, yesterday, this is the one that soaked up water right away. So um, we're gonna put these back in the bucket for another 24 hours and we're gonna see what happens. The uh, tech shield, you can see here, yesterday, this one did really well. The water beat it up on the top, didn't soak in at all. But once you stuck it in water, it actually swelled a little bit. And then you can see the painted edge here is starting to split. So um, as of right now, I think this is going to be the first one to go. And then your cheap um, $8.55 OSB from Lowe's actually held up pretty good. It's starting to split just a little bit but not near as bad as the, uh, the tech shield. So, and it's still pretty solid. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it back in the bucket and we're gonna check on it again. And that way, in about another 24 hours. 
24 hours later. All right, guys, it's Steve Marino. We're back again. And it's been 48 hours. So we have our wood here. Basically, the tech shield is soaked up a whole lot of water. We're going to do a comparison. I still have the pieces that I cut it from. The, uh, the OSB from Lowe's or Home Depot actually held up pretty good. It's a little... It's a little swollen, but it's not nowhere near the tech shield. And then the plywood actually looks almost the same, right? So um, as of right now, I mean, it's been kind of a cross between the plywood and the regular OSB. And then earlier when we did just the water drip test, the, uh, the tech shield actually uh, repelled a lot of more water than the rest of them. So, um, so here you go. So this, this, I cut this piece from the regular OSB, all right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to compare it. You can see that it's swollen just a little bit, right? It's not, not really that big of a deal. You got maybe, maybe a sixteenth or so of, uh, of swelling. It's actually held up pretty good. I mean, for eight fifty five dollars a sheet. I mean, to me, it's economical and it held up pretty well. And then, this is the tech shield. Now, I was looking at this earlier because I already pulled them out of the bucket. However, you can see the tech shield here, right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right here so you can see the difference here. I'm trying to get it straight, anyways. So you can actually see it actually almost swelled up by an eighth of an inch, maybe two eighths. And it's starting to fall apart and stuff like that on the center and delaminate. You can see here. So me personally, I'm, I'm kind of against the whole tech shield here. Now this is the plywood. And what I'll do if I can get the figure out which way I cut it here. I think it was here. So I don't know. Anyways, <clears throat> so the plywood actually did swell, but it's only like a sixteenth of an inch. It's not even really not even really swollen that bad. So it did soak up in the initial test. It soaked up a lot more water than the rest of it. However, at the end, um, I would say that the plywood actually held up pretty good against the submersion test. So if you want my honest opinion, I don't know if I would put tech shield on my house just from looking at the swelling. Again, it's not like your roof is going to sit underwater um, unless you're in a, a hurricane, a flood zone or something like that. So it did repel water um, with the side that was facing up. And it, but my, my, I guess my two choices would be the OSB. It did swallow a little bit of water, but it didn't, um, it's not completely deformed like the tech shield. So this one's still kind of laminated. It's not pulling apart. You can see the edge here. It's not like the tech shield. And this is $855 a sheet. And this is about $15 a sheet. So you can kind of do the math. You need 3.125 sheets per square, 100 square feet on your roof. So <clears throat> you can kind of do the math on which would be a little bit more economical. Uh, most people use the OSB and they use it for a lot of things. They put it on the outside of the homes, behind siding and stuff for structural sheathing. Um, they put it on the roof. It's, it's a lot cheaper, it's more cost effective. And I'm gonna be honest with you, looking at the, you know, the, the swelling, I don't think that it would, you know, a little roof leak, yeah, I don't think it's gonna do a whole lot of damage to this. Um, I've seen both types of roofs with rotten decking. I couldn't tell you for sure if the OSB is better or the plywood is better. It's mainly a preference and cost effectiveness. So um, that's just my opinion. You can take it for what it's worth. I've only been doing this for a minute. Um, I think if it was my house, I would probably just use the OSB. It's a little cheaper um, and it it's a good product. I mean, this is just simple Lowe's OSB. So, and this is obviously $15 a sheet. So you kind of got about, uh, I would say about a $8 difference, maybe $7 difference. 
Um, maybe six and a half. I'm not a mathematician, but I can calculate your roof. But anyways, so my opinion, again, OSB, plywood, I think it's just personal preference. So uh, y'all guys have a good one. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions about anything that we do, roofing, installation, windows, and even if we don't do it, we'll reach out to a contractor that does do it and we'll find out and maybe get some more of this stuff going for you guys so that way you can kind of see what goes on behind the scenes. It actually helps me. I've never tested this stuff before, so now I know. Awesome. Thanks, guys.